Hello students, let us discuss electronic configuration of elements and periodic table. In the preceding unit, we have learned that uh, the distribution of electron into orbitals of an atom is called as electronic configuration. So in this video, we will we'll observe that uh, a direct connection between the electronic configuration of the elements and the long form of periodic table. The modern periodic table or the long form of periodic table is shown here in the image. As we discussed in the previous video that long form of periodic table have certain blocks that is s block p block d block and f block so these are divided into blocks depending upon the the last electron is in which orbital if the last electron is in s then the elements in the s block if the last electron is in d orbital then the elements are in d block and so on even we also discuss that uh, there are some vertical columns and horizontal rows. Horizontal rows are called as periods and the vertical columns are called as groups. So let us discuss why the particle element is in a particle period and in the particle group that we need to discuss here. So first let us discuss electronic configuration in periods. So, first of all, let us take uh, S block elements. So, in this we can discuss why these particle elements are in the particle period. So, first of all, let us take uh, the first column that is lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. Because we are discussing the relation between the electronic configuration of the element in the periodic table. So, first of all, we will make the electronic configuration here. So, here are the electronic configuration of lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. Here are the electronic configuration. Because I told you, for an element with a higher atomic number, it is quite difficult to write the electronic configuration full. So, we use the method of writing the electronic configuration in this way. That means, in this method, we write the electronic configuration with respect to the nearest noble gas species. So, for example, in the case of lithium, the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Here 1s2, 1s2 is the electronic configuration of helium. So in the place of 1s2 we can write helium in the bracket and what is next 2s1. So we are writing 2s1 here. Similarly when we take the case of sodium, the electronic configuration of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. So in order to write in the short form, how we write here? Because the electronic configuration for neon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So this much, in the place of this much, what we can write here? Neon in the brackets. And what is left here? 3s1 is left. That can be written with the neon. So this is the way of writing the electronic configuration in the shortest manner. So we are writing the electronic configuration here it is in the same manner. So you can write it for the electronic configuration for cesium it is xenon in the bracket 6s1. For francium radon in the bracket 7s1. So this is the way of writing the electronic configuration in the shortest manner. So we write the electronic configuration in this manner. So it will be very easy to compare the period here. 
so here the period as we have discussed the elements are in the periodic table are arranged in the horizontal rows that is called as periods so when we compare the modern periodic table we can see that there are seven rows you can see there are seven rows so that means there are seven periods seven period means like one two like we have already discussed in the previous video there are seven horizontal rows therefore there are seven periods so here the element which is given here these are arranged in seven periods here so hydrogen belong to the first period lithium belong to the second period sodium belong to third period potassium belong to fourth period rubidium belong to the fifth period cesium belong to sixth period and francium belong to seventh period here the period indicate the value of n what is n n is the principal quantum number here the period indicate the value of n for the outermost or valence shell so when you look at the electronic configuration of lithium here the principal quantum number the outermost or the valence shell is the second therefore we can say that the lithium belongs to the second period similarly when we look at the case of sodium the outermost shell here that is the principal quantum number highest principal quantum number is 3 here therefore it belongs to the third period similarly the case of argon belongs to fourth rubidium fifth cesium sixth francium seven why because in the case of francium the outermost shell or we can say the outermost orbit or the value of n is 7 here so therefore it belongs to the 7th period so the elements are arranged in the particle period depending upon the value of n for the outermost or valence shell so when you look at this electronic configuration this type of electronic configuration in this you can see that the maximum value of n in the case of lithium is 2 therefore it belongs to the second period in the case of sodium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 what is the maximum value of n here that is 3 therefore it belongs to third so what is clear from this electronic configuration that the value of n that is the outermost shell represent that principal quantum number represent its period so the elements are arranged in a period according to the value of n for the outermost shell similarly when we talk about the case of elements elements like beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium. When you look at the electronic configuration here, which is also represented in a short manner, you can see that here the, the value of n is equal to 2. Therefore, what is n here? This 2. That is the outermost shell in the case of beryllium in which electron is present in the is the second shell therefore the beryllium belongs to the which period here second so we can say that the beryllium belongs to the second period similarly magnesium magnesium when you write the electronic configuration in that you can say that the outermost shell is the third shell that is the principal quantum number is three therefore we can say that the magnesium belongs to the third period similarly the calcium belongs to fourth strontium belongs to fifth barium belong, belongs to sixth and radium belongs to seventh so from this it is clear that 
each element in a particular period is belong to the particular period why because its outermost shell when you write the electronic configuration in that the outermost shell that is the principal counter number that number represent its period so that's why the elements when you look at the elements which is given in the periodic table so when you compare the first period this is the first period in the first period two elements are there that is hydrogen and helium so they are belonged in the first period because the only one shell is present in that that is the first shell so n is equal to 1 therefore it belongs to the first period similarly in the second period we can see that eight number of elements in the third eight in the fourth 18 so all these elements in that particular period we can say that the outermost shell represent the period similarly we can say the other all element when you compare so we can make a particular table in this way so in this it is clear that the elements in the period that is in the first period there are two elements that is hydrogen and helium in the second period there are elements there are eight elements like lithium barium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon similarly in the third period also there are eight elements then this is first second third fourth and fifth period we can say that there are 18 elements and in the sixth and seventh period there are 32 elements so the elements in the periods depends upon the value of outermost shell that is value of n so let us discuss electronic configuration of elements in groups that means why the particular element is in particular group the group one the elements are lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium since when we look at the electronic configuration for these element we can find that there is similar pattern of electronic configuration in which the last electron enters the s orbital of their outermost energy level therefore these belong to the s block in this electronic configuration you can see the last electron is in s so in the case of lithium it is in 2s in the sodium it is 3s in potassium 4s 5s 6s 7s and so on so here the number 2 in the case of uh, lithium the number 2 represent uh, its uh, period that is in the second period this one is in the third period this is in the fourth fifth sixth seven so the last electron is it in the 2s orbital in the case of lithium therefore we can say that it belongs to the second period and the general electronic configuration for this group we can represent by n s 1 where n is the outermost energy level that is the principal quantum number here so we can say that the general electronic configuration for the group 1 element is represented by n s 1 where n stand for the outermost energy shell these elements are called as alkali metals in group 2 elements the elements are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium when we look at the electronic configuration in this we can find out they have similar pattern of electronic configuration in which we can find out that the outermost electron is in the 2s orbit in the case of beryllium in magnesium it is in 3s 4s 5s 6s 7s and so on so in this case we can find out the last electron 
enters the s orbital of their outermost energy level therefore they belong to s block and in the electronic configuration here the last electron is in the second shell therefore it belong to second period magnesium belong to third period then 4 5 6 7 7 in this way we can say that uh, from the electronic configuration we can say that beryllium belong to second period this third 4 5 6 7th period in the case of uh, group wise we can say that it have a general electronic configuration that is uh, n s 2 where the n is the principal quantum number that is the outermost energy shell here so when you look at in this case for beryllium n is equal to 2 for magnesium n is equal to 3 for calcium it is equal to n is 2 2 that is 4s2 5s2 6s2 7s2 and so on so we can say that uh, they have a general electronic configuration that is n s 2 and in all the cases you can say two electrons are there in the s orbital so we use two here so the general electronic configuration for group 2 is n s 2 these elements are called as alkaline earth metals that means the elements belonging to group second are called as alkaline earth metals next group 13 element that belongs to p block the elements are boron aluminum gallium indium thallium so when you check the electronic configuration here they have similar pattern of electronic configuration in which in the case of boron the last electron is in 2p in the case of aluminum it is in the 3p 4p 5p 6p and in all these cases there is single electron so because it the last electron is in the p therefore it is in the p orbital therefore it belongs to p block and uh, the last electron is in the second shell in the case of boron therefore it belong to second period and for this it belong to third period next fourth period fifth period sixth period so we can say that uh, the electronic configuration from this we can find out the period and they have similar electronic configuration similar pattern of electronic configuration in this you can see it is in 2p1 3p1 4p1 5p1 6p1 so instead of that we can write generally np1 and because the last electron is in the 2p and uh, two more electrons are there valence electron is in the 2s so we can say that the general electronic configuration is ns2 np1 so in all these cases we have to write the s electrons also have to be taken in the general configuration so what is the general electronic configuration for group 13 that is ns2 np1 next group 14 elements that is carbon silicon germanium tin lead in this electronic configuration we can find similar pattern in all these cases we can find out uh, the two electrons are there in the p orbital so it belongs to p block and in the case of carbon 2s2 2p2 next 3s2 3p2 4s2 4p2 so similar pattern so what will write the general electronic configuration n s2 np2 so that is the general electronic configuration for group 14 similarly when we consider the electronic configuration of a group 15 elements that is nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth we can find out they have similar pattern of electronic configuration in which 
the outermost shell have 2 electron in S and 3 electron in P. So, the general electronic configuration will be N S 2 N P 3. N S 2 N P 3. You can see there is a similar pattern in all these three. That is N S 2 N P 3. Group 16. Similarly, the elements like oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. In this case, we can find out the electronic configuration similar pattern that is 2s2, 2p4 in the oxygen, 3s2, 3p4 for sulfur, 4s2, 4p4 and so on. So, what will write the general electronic configuration that is ns2, np4, ns2, np4. 17 group elements which are called as halogens here also in the elements like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine when we find out the electronic configuration they have similar pattern 2s2, 2p5, 3s2, 3p5, 4s2, 4p5. So what will be the general electronic configuration? ns2 where n is the outermost shell that gives the period for it ns2 np5 that is the general electronic configuration for group 17 the group 18th element helium neon argon krypton xenon radon these elements are called as noble gases they are the stable elements which exist in the nature in a monoatomic form they are the most stable element why because they have stable configuration they have fully filled electronic configuration so in this uh, they have fully filled electronic configuration and when we look at the pattern of electronic configuration they have similar pattern that is n s2 n p6 look at the s is fully filled and p is fully filled Therefore, they are the most stable, they have most stable electronic configuration. Therefore, they are the noble gases. So, the electronic configuration, that is a general electronic configuration for these elements are NS2, NP6. That is fully filled orbitals. So, in the P block elements we have discussed the electronic configuration that is general electronic configuration. So when we compare a periodic table, so in the periodic table we can find out that the element from 13 to 18 which is in the P block, the general electronic configuration comes that is NS2 NP. For the case of 13, we have find it out NP1. Then for 14, NP2. For 15, NP3. For 16, NP4, NP5, NP6. Last, it comes NP6. So, we can say that general electronic configuration for P block element is NS2, NP1, 2, NS2, NP6. It is in between NS2, NP1 to NS2, NP6. So, how we write this general electronic configuration for P block element? That is, for P block element, the general electronic configuration is NS2, NP1. 1 for 13. For 15, it is 6. Therefore, 1 to 6. That is a general electronic configuration for P block elements. Now let us discuss about D block elements. D block element is in between the S and P. You can find out the D block is here. That is in between the S and P. These series are also called as transition series. So D block element that is taken separately here. 
d block elements are also called as a transition elements and here in the first transition series the filling of a 3d orbitals takes place therefore this is called as 3d transition then it is called as 4d 5d transition so there are transition series scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc in this the filling of 3d orbitals takes place therefore they are called as elements in the 3d series next element in the 4d series next element in the 5d series when we look at the electronic configuration of 3d series that is 3d transition series you can find out uh, there is similar pattern of electronic configuration in which the filling of d is taking place and 4s2 is completely filled 3d1 4s2 3d2 4s2 3d3 4s2 but we have already discussed in the case of chromium and copper there is an exception case in that we can find out the in the 4s there is single electron so the general electronic configuration for the case of d orbital that is taken as in this way so for the d block element the general electronic configuration is n minus 1 d 1 2 10 n s 1 or 2 what is the general electronic configuration for d block element that is n s 1 or 2 why we are seeing 1 or 2 because in some exception cases in the 4s you can find out in the chromium and copper there is a single electron in the 4s so we can say ns1 or 2 but we can find out 3d 3d in which filling takes place from 1 to 10 so we can write and 4 if it is n then what will be 3 4 minus 1 is 3 so here the 4 is n so what will be the 3 here that is n minus 1 d and its value start from 1 to 10 so when you look at the series here in this filling of 4s it is 2 in all the cases but in the exception case it is it is 4s1 that is in the case of chromium and copper so we can write it is having ns1 but 2 is also there so we have to keep or 2 and the inner to the outer shell the outermost shell is the fourth shell the inner of the fourth shell is third shell so that is taken as n minus 1 d because this n here it is 4 and n minus 1 it is 3 d 3 d can be written as n minus 1 d so here when you compare in the sum in the case of scandium it is 3 d 1 in the case of titanium 3 d 2 and so on so it start from 1 to 10 so what is the general electronic configuration from this series we can find it out the general electronic configuration is that is n s 1 2 2 n minus 1 d 1 to 10 that is the general electronic configuration for d block elements in the modern periodic table we can find that uh, there is a separate block uh, which is uh, taken separately from the main block uh, that is called as a f block element which is also called as inner transition elements these elements in which the filling of electron takes place in the 4f orbital that series is called as 4f series and the filling of electron takes place in 5f orbital that is called as 5f series so these are called as lanthanoids and this is called as actinoids because the series start with cerium that is after lanthanum after lanthanum 
it start the series therefore it is called as lanthanide and after actinium the series starts therefore it is called as actinoids so in the case of uh, lanthanoids we can say that uh, the filling of electrons takes place in the 4f orbital and uh, we know that the outermost here it is the outermost shell is the sixth shell so when you look at the configuration 4f 5d and 6s so the outermost shell is 6s inner shell is the fifth shell and inner to that is the fourth shell so here the filling of electron takes place in the 4f so we need to write uh, these also so 6 is the outermost shell that is taken as ns and 5 we can written we can write it as n minus 1d and 4f can be written as n minus 2f so we need to consider these ns n minus 1d and n minus 2f in the general electronic configuration so that we can write the electronic configuration for the different blocks in the same way we can write for the s block the general electronic configuration is ns1 to 2 that is ns1 for the first group ns2 is for the second group therefore together we can write ns1 to 2 for p block element ns2 np1 to 6 why it is 1 to 6 starting from 13 that is np1 np2 np3 np4 np5 last np6 so we can say that uh, the general electronic configuration is ns2 np1 to 6 for d block element the general electronic configuration is n minus 1 d 1 to 10 and n plus 1 or 2 because exception cases are there so we need to write ns1 or 2 and for the f block element the general electronic configuration is n minus 2 f1 to 14 because f filling can takes place from 1 to 14 electrons can be filled n minus 1 d 0 or 1 in that uh, exceptions are there and ns Two. So these are the general electronic configuration for different blocks. So on the basis of the electronic configuration, we can find out the group and the period for a particular element in the modern periodic table. From this, uh, what we can conclude that uh, on the basis of electronic configuration, we can find it out the position of that element. in a particular period and the group so have a nice day thank you